hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am unique excel and on today's tutorial we are making a cargo shot a unisex cargo shot make sure you watch watch it to the end because this video is very very explanatory i'm working with one yard of fabric 36 inches i have 35 inches there but with as room is one yard of fabric so i've laid um the right side this is the right side i've laid it together like this and I'm working with the wrong side now. So I'm cutting the two sides of the front together. That's why it's laid together. So when I cut, I have this two panel for the front. Then I'm going to cut the two panel for the back as well. So let's get started with the tutorial. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do now is that I'm going to mark like the rough edges out. I'm just going to have my straight line like this. So this is where I'll be taking all my measurements from. So for my cargo shot, I want to make use of length 22 inches because I wanted to get to my knee. So um, you can like take your preferred measurements or size or whatever you want to use. So 22 inches, I'm going to add a band to this cargo shot, a band of about 2, 2.5 inches. So when I add a band of 2.5 inches and I join it, you know, it will remain like 2 inches. And um, to measure my the length, I'm using 22 inches length here. Yeah? So I'm supposed to add two inches allowance to like take my pants in when I'm done. So because I'm also adding band, I don't have to add the two inches because the band will serve as the extra two inches that I'm supposed to add. So I'm just going to use my 22 inches measurement straight up. There's no need to add or remove anything from the actual measurement you took on the person. So I'm just going to use 22 inches straight up and I'm going to rule my 22 inches out like that. So the next thing we want to do now is um, take our crotch measurement. Some people call it crotch, other people call it flap. So whatever you call it, I use 9 inches for my 9, 9.5 inches for my length crotch length why because i'm still going to add a band of about two inches so that makes it a total of like 11 11.5 11 inches it depends on how baggy you want the pants to be i want mine to be a little bit fitted not so 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 baggy so i'm going to use nine inches and when i add my band of about 2.5 inches then it can be a total of 11 inches so this is i'm marking my nine inches here so this is where my 9 inches is and it is on this line that you are going to have your tie measurement, your round tie measurement. The tie measurement I want to use in, for this tutorial, I want to use 26 inches tie because I use 21, 22 on the norms but you know it's like a cargo shot, it's not like meant to be so fitted, it has to be like baggy, that's the essence of the cargo shot. So I'm going to use 26 inches for the tie measurement for this tutorial. So I want to just like chop out this part because it's like a rough edge and um, it doesn't make the wall come out like neatly if you don't like cut it out at first. So I'm just going to start my measurements from the line after like the line I just marked. So we have 20, 26 inches tie here. Yeah? 26 inches divided by 2 we have 13 inches. No allowance, just mark your 13 inches straight up. So to get your waist, you know for cargo shorts, cargo pants is like, it has a like free waist size. You know, it, the waist doesn't have to be fitted. The waist doesn't really have to be fitted because there will be an elastic. And that's why cargo shorts, you can just make different sizes and different people can wear it. Do you get? As long as the tie is big enough to, um, for the person, for the size they are making. So I'm using tight when they say. Sorry, I thought I was recording. I wasn't. So I did all this thinking, hoping that I'm um, thinking I was recording. So what I did was that um, this 13 inches here that we added to the tie, I removed 2.5 inches inside, inward. So that makes it 13 minus 2.5 gives me 10.5. So I have 10.5 inches here, and the same 10.5 inches, I brought it to my waistline, 
this 10.5. So I joined the line, like this, the two 10.5 line, and I just formed like a cup. That was all I did. So let's continue. So the next thing to do now is I just want to remove like one inches from this down part. One inches. The one inches comes to join this part. And then I'm just going to let's do that first. So one inches, then you just make a cross slant. All right. So this is the one inches coming to join the tie and coming up to join the waist. This is the excess I said will be cutting out. So the next thing to do now is um, the knee part. How, but how, how big do you want your knee? Do you want it fitted? Do you want it baggy? So you can just take the measurements on you. I don't want mine fitted. So my actual knee measurement is about, is about 17, 18 inches. That's divided by 2 is 9. So I'm going to make use of 11 inches. So my, this is my 11 inches because I want my pants baggy. So I'm going to join that to my tie. So like this. I just joined the line to my tie. And this is what we have for the front panel. This is our front panel for the cargo shorts. This is all you have to do for the front. So I'm just going to cut out the front now. I'm done cutting out my front piece and now I want to cut out my back piece. So for my back piece, I'm also going to like lay the front piece on the, on the remaining fabric. I'm going to lay the front piece on the remaining fabric like this. You remember that I used so you remember that I didn't have um, any allowance when I was taking the measurements for the front. I just said my thigh, I wanted 26 inches and I used 20, 20 divided by 2 inch 2. I used 13 inches straight up. I added no allowance. But we are going to join this back to the front and we are going to be holding at least half half inches on both sides. So all the allowance we are we are supposed to have, everything will be on the back panel. So now we are going to add allowance to this part of the back panel and on this down part I add 1.5 inches. On this um, um, crotch line I add 2 quarter, sometimes 2.5 inches. And on this part I had 2 inches allowance. So I'm just going to join the um, I'm going to join the three together, so like this, you're just going to form like another crotch, like this, okay, can you guys see that, so I just formed another crotch line, this, the reason why I'm, I'm adding this to the back is because, remember we have the buttocks at the back, do you get, so, and the front has to be like firm, while the back has to be like big enough to contain the buttocks, so this is the essence of these two inches I'm adding here. And here is just like the allowance. This two, this um, um, tie measurement line where I had it two quarter is like just the allowance to hold, hold, hold. But this part is majorly for the buttocks to like sit well and all of that. So I'm just going to join this line also to this line using my ruler. So this is what we have now so this is my front pieces this is where it ended and this is the excess i added 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 on just this side the other side i'm going to cut it the normal way it is for the front so i'm just going to cut out now and show you guys what we have
so at the end of the day guys this is what we have you can see that i just want to turn it around so you guys see it well so you can see that for this is my front piece and this is my back piece for my front piece all these edges the down part the upper part is equal but for this side where i measure the tie measurements i just added to it because of my sewing allowance and this place the bomb bomb and every other thing like that so we are done cutting the basic um so the next thing we want to cut now is the band and our pocket um we have different um cargo pocket designs i'll be uploading another video showing you how to make different cargo pocket designs but for this um tutorial we are going to just make one of the numerous options of pocket designs that we have so this is our remaining fabric here and the first pocket i'm going to put is the major inner pocket the one at the side that is on every trouser but it's different in pant trouser because you get to slant it if you'd like me to make a video about to make that kind of pocket so you can let me know in the comment section but i'm just going to work with the normal side pocket we have in um cargo pants and maybe like joggers pants and all so the side pocket i'm going to use i'm still laying my fabric in two like i've been doing because i need two pockets two pockets for both sides so i'm going to use um 13 by 13 inches normally i use um i use 14 by 14 inches but because my fabric here yeah, i have just 13 inches left so that's not bad it is still look very okay so 13 inches because i'm laying the fabrics in four already so i'm just going to divide my 13 by 2 so that's 6.5 so that's 13 by 6.5 inches so when i open it i have 13 13 i'm going to show you guys so i'm just going to cut it out like that so after cutting this is what we have you know i did 6.5 by 13 inches yeah okay so when we open it, we have two. I told you we need two pockets. So when you measure again, you have 13 inches by 13 inches twice. So that's what we are going to use for the normal pocket that we have. So we'll cut the band, but it will be, I'll cut the band in this sewing tutorial because I like to stitch first before I know what um, band size I'm going to put and um you have to watch this sewing tutorial because i'm going to show you guys how to make the band for a cargo short for a jogger short and all of that so stay tuned guys and i'm going to be adding other pockets while sewing that's if my fabrics will allow me because the fabric is not does not really have a long length so i'm still contemplating on adding other cargo pockets to it but in the sewing tutorials we are going, I'm going to show you guys how to do a cargo pocket and how to add the band and every other thing. 